What I want to do is go, in, go into my application, and all I'm going to say is strict mode, enable defaults. And what that does is says, you know what, any of those potentially blocking operations, you know, disk reads, disk writes, network, capture all those, and when they happen, can you just write them out to the log cat for me, right, out to the log system for Android, just tell me that it happened. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our program. Now, any of the messages that are generated for us are generated through the standard Android logcat system. Right? Uh, and of course, the uh, way you commonly might view that is with the Android utility DDMS. One of the things I really like a lot about um, the JetBrains and IntelliJ ID is that it actually lets me see the Android logcat right here from inside of my, my development environment itself. Right? So if I go over here, I can bring up the logcat. I'm going to go and clear that out. So let's go to our emulator now and let's run our application. Menu, do work. Okay, now you see here that I've got a bunch of messages in here. If we scroll up, we can see those messages are all strict mode violations. And what that's telling us is the strict mode policy is detected to certain things have gone on, right? So if I scroll over here a little bit, I see a strict mode disk write violations. It told me that I was trying to write to the disk, so it's logged that for me. You notice here I've got a strict mode network violation. So I can see those things in here. And what's really nice about those is that it always writes us out to log cat for us, but one of the neat things about this IDE is that if I scroll through here, you'll notice that any code in the, the dump stack that goes with the strict mode violation that's my code, it actually has the line number there for me. So if I click on that, I jump right to my code. Right? So now in this case, because I'm in the emulator, I was using the HTTP classes to go out there and reverse geocode it. But if I was running it on a device, it would actually point me right back here to the class that the framework uses to do that. It would actually take me right back here to this get from location. So strict mode stuff is really useful because it allows me to first see that, hey, I'm doing something on that main thread that maybe I don't want to do. But also it's very important because it allows me to zero in on exactly what caused it so that I can know that is it something I'm doing explicitly, like calling out to the network, or is it something that's happening implicitly from something I'm relying on from another library.